Cameron. Tori. This is how, this is like the first time we started doing this one. Well, I think you said Cameron, but then you've continued. Oh yeah, I've been like, Cameron, guess what? Yeah, so we're like stepping it up from the usual Cameron Tori interaction. Right, but this is important, so that's why I did that. Okay, yeah, we're serious. We're serious folk. This is a serious matter. Yes. Did you pass all your keystones? Yes. Did you pass all your keystones? No. Uh -huh. Yes. Did I pass all my keystones? Yes. What? You know what that means? What? We get senior privileges and we get to come to school late. What? When do we get to come to school late? When everyone else has to take keystones. Isn't that in the spring? Yeah, but they also have winter keystones, but we don't come in late for that. Oh, so there's times where people have to take keystones in the winter. Yes. And we call them winter keystones. That is, in fact, true. Good thing there's not a creative keystone. <laughs> anyway, so people have to take the winter keystones, and we talked to someone about it. Who knows who it was? Who knows? Let's check it out. Hello, I'm Thaddeus Pig from the Eagle's Eye, and I'm here with Miss Harbaugh to talk about this up upcoming keystone season. How you doing, Miss Harbaugh? I'm doing fine. How are you? I'm great. So, um, when are the keystones this year? The keystones are happening January 9 and 10, 11 and 12. We have makeups on the 13th. We're off on that Monday for Martin Luther King Day, and then we um, start back up with the biology keystones the 17th and the 18th of January. Okay, so um, who, who, are taking, who are the people taking these keystones? The students that are testing this session for the winter are students who did not score proficient in the last testing session or who have not scored proficient in the past. So um, they include 9th, 10th, and 11th grade students, um, but it's for students who, are, this is their second or third try with the uh, testing session. Okay, so with the keystones coming up, how can students prepare to take these tests? All of the students that are currently um, on schedule to take this test, this testing session, are students who are in remedial courses. So if you did not score proficient on the algebra test and you are then placed into the algebra one keystone enrichment course, so we are giving them remediation in that way, um, and then those students will then test at the end of the remediation course, which happens to be the January testing session, okay. or the biology enrichment course. Right, right. So um, when, are the, when are the keystone dates again? January 9, 10, 11, 12, and 17, and 18. All right. Thank you for your time, Ms. Harbaugh. It was no always problem. a pleasure. Thank you. All right, I'm Thaddeus Pierre from the Eagle's Eye, and that was Ms. Harbaugh talking about this upcoming Keystone season. Wait, one more thing. Mr. Smallbuck, can you tell us how students are going to be notified that they're taking the winter Keystone test? Yeah, they've already been notified. On Tuesday, I generated a slip for every one of the kids that's retaken any one or more of the tests that went to their second period, and all their teachers got an email that has a full alpha list on it. So there's, if they're not 100% sure, they can go ask their teachers too, or they can always come and see me because I keep the list, so I've got all the names. Thank you for your time, Mr. Smallbox. You're welcome.